This is a Title I supplementary module for ELA. The focus of this lesson is sentence combining. Ultimately, our students will be able to revise or edit writing for a variety of sentence structure through sentence combining. This focuses upon the Common Core Writing Anchor Standard 5. Develop and strengthen writing as needed by planning, revising, editing, rewriting, or trying a new approach. Essentially, students will need to do editing and rewriting in order to combine sentences correctly. In addition, because this is a grammatical skill, this also focuses upon the Language Anchor Standard one, which shows that students do have a strong command of the conventions of standard English grammar. Students need to be aware that sentence combining Research shows that using sentence combining teaches students to use a variety of sentences in their writing. Ultimately then, it can lead to a quality revision and a quality draft. This is, however, considered a mature writing skill and therefore many of our students need assistance in sentence combining. Before we can even begin to address the concept of combining sentences, our students need to have a firm understanding of a complete sentence. If your students lack this understanding, please take some time to review that with them. They also need the ability to revise and edit their writing and familiarity with a writing workshop format. You will want to make sure that your students have a copy of the sentence combining through coordinating conjunctions handout, that you have a rough draft of a writing assignment, and that you have a document viewer, a projector, a starboard, or you have a small enough group that students can gather around you and you can show them the changes that you are making. In addition, you may want a sample paragraph or two to work on with the students. First, you need to introduce students to the concept of sentence combining. This lesson focuses specifically upon using commas and coordinating conjunctions. While we know there are multiple ways to combine sentences, in order to accomplish this in only a 20 to 40 minute period, we are going to focus on just one of those methods. For modeling, you can use the handout. There are two parts to the handout, so you could go over a couple of examples from each part with the students. For instance, the first Part of the handout gives students two different sentences as well as the relationship that the coordinating conjunction should show. Sid and Sal found an old and expensive house they could afford. They bought it. The students are then asked to combine these two sentences using the cause and result relationship. Sid and Sal found an old expensive house they could afford, comma, so they bought it. You can also direct students to the informational part of the handout, which will be the first page, where it lists the different coordinating conjunctions and the relationships that the conjunction show. Two, they wanted a newer houses. New houses were too costly. There's a contrast here. This is what they wanted, but this was their reality. And so we could write, they wanted a newer house, comma, but new houses were too costly. Again, if you do not want to use the exact wording from this handout, please feel free to adapt that. They wanted a newer house, comma, but they were unable to afford one, would also be an acceptable idea for sentence combining. Just discuss with your students why you changed the second sentence when you combined the two sentences. Part two does not give a relationship, it simply gives the two different sentences. She wanted to be a well-informed shopper. She began to do research. First, our students need to be able to identify that relationship. Well, because she wanted to be a well-informed shopper, she began to do that relationship. So there's a cause and effect. She wanted to be a well-informed shopper, comma, so she began to do research. 
You could also use an actual student's rough draft to show the revision focusing upon sentence combining. If you collect all of the rough drafts at the very beginning and just do a quick skim through those, you will then be able to choose a paragraph or two to go through and offer some revision feedback or editing feedback for the focus of sentence combination. At this point in time then, you can set students free to go ahead and finish up both parts of the handout. You'll want to walk around the room and offer feedback as they do this come back together, and then correct both worksheets as a whole group. As the first part of this lesson takes about 20 minutes, you may need to break this unit up into two lessons, depending upon how much time you have allotted for your mini lesson. If you do need to break up the session, this is a great spot to stop for the day. Otherwise, go ahead and simply continue on to the active engagement. Students can then meet with a small group and exchange rough drafts. At this point in time, they will pick a paragraph and then revise that paragraph for the concept of combining sentences. Students then return the papers and discuss the changes with their small group members. So you are really expecting two things from your students. You're expecting them to be able to start applying that technique of sentence combining, but also then explain to the small group what changes they made and why. The small group can also act as the feedback or telling them whether or not that sentence combining was done correctly. Finally, students should each have his or her own rough draft. We don't want to necessarily end up with two paragraphs that are all long sentences, so we don't want students to combine every sentence within the paragraph, but having students combine sentences multiple times will still be able to show us that the concept is well understood.